I just took a walk without my face mask on. My little girl fell asleep on our walk. Um, I'm just getting in. Now, if my daughter went down to sleep by herself ever, like actually went down and, and stayed asleep, this is, I guess, the part where I would be putting her down. Mm -hmm. And so I was kicking Squish out of the glider. Come on, baby. Move over. Oh. And uh, loading up the car with groceries, with yeah, groceries, with um, with the laundry. But um, my child does not sleep by herself, so I was hoping I'd be able to do the laundry while she was playing in her playroom. But since that's not the case, um, I am actually gonna wait for James to get home, and I'm gonna have him load up the laundry in the car for me, because unloading it at the laundromat is actually pretty simple. Well. And, um, stuff like that. So, because it's just, it has the buggies at the laundromat. So, like, you literally just take your daughter or your son or whatever you got. You wear them and then you fill up the buggy with clothes and you bring the buggies into the laundromat. And then you start filling up the, the, um, the washers with clothes. It's easier at the laundromat because everything's on an even playing field. You know, you have the buggy. From, you bring it out from the laundromat, put it by your car, fill it up with clothes, you bring it in, you drop it by a washer, you bring out another buggy, you fill it up with clothes, you bring it in, you stop it by a washer, you fill up the big clothes, big washers with the clothes, and then you put the big things of washing from the washer into the dryers. And um, like it's all on the same level, it's not hard, it's just getting the stuff into your car without the buggy at your house. That's really what it is. Um, sad to not doing it at the laundromat is much easier than doing it at the house. So, I'm going to rock my daughter as she sleeps and just hold her as she sleeps. And um, wait for James to come home to help me fill up the, the car with laundry. So... I, mean, I guess James is right. He does. He works outside the house. There's no reason for him to help inside the home and all the extra stuff. Like, I don't want to give him, like, a bunch of extra praise because it's like I do this stuff all the time and I get, n I don't get any praise for it because he says that only pansies need praise. Well, if I'm a pansy for wanting praise, then why does he need praise for doing stuff that I feel like he should just do, you know? Like, I... He shouldn't be extra complimented for bringing clothes out to the car with me. Like, I don't know. When we were at the laundromat, all he did was hold Karina after I put her to sleep. I mean, it's a big help because then I'm not wearing her and folding the laundry. But, like, I don't know. I gotta go and prepare him dinner, and I have to get my cat away from the bag. He's gonna chew on a plastic bag. Oh man. Alright, this is my life. This is what we're doing. We just got back from a walk because I needed a walk. Everyone needs a walk, I think. It's just get outside your house, clear your head, go for a walk. <sighs> oh my goodness. Look at him. He's literally trying to eat the plastic. I hate when he does this because he's going to get himself sick if he swallows it. I have to go yell. Not really yell at him. I'll show you what I do. I'll show you my version of yelling at my cat. Squish. Buddy. Come on. Get down. Get down. And then I'm going to move this so that if he wants to go back on the chair, he can't. Without any problems. There's my version of reprimanding my cat. James says I'm way too lenient, but hmm, you don't need to reprimand all that much, so in my point of view. All right, that's it for my update. And then look at him. He's not scarred or anything else. He's fine. Psst, psst, psst. You okay, little boy? So, all right, that's it.